Not to be dramatic, but summer is basically three months away and it's time to stop playing. I do not want you to spend another summer walking on the beach, fully covered up, sweat dripping down your forehead because you didn't snatch your body and face during hibernation season, AKA right now. Future you needs you to do one thing today and that is to watch this entire video from start to finish because I'm sharing your three month glow up plan to have you feeling confident AF in a bikini and no makeup. This is today's video outline and stay until the end of the video for video notes. Now the pictures used in the thumbnail should not trigger you. I need you to instead get into a space of motivation and inspiration so that you can step into your highest version of yourself. That leads me to say this glow up plan is a two step approach, mental and physical. The first part, we are gonna cover the actual physical glow up plan. In this step, we are going to build out your three month plan and we're gonna split this up into three sections. This first part simply just requires you to carve out the highest version of yourself and what she looks like. And from this moment forward, only do things from her point of view, but we're gonna get more into that in the mental phase. So what is your model body and what is your model face? Now, as I always say, the glow ups on this channel are always intended to elevate, enhance, and optimize, not carve out unrealistic beauty standards that are not in your reality. So during this phase, keep focused on the theme of the video, which is you, just better. You don't wanna pull inspo pics from a woman who looks nothing like you because you don't want to create an unattainable vision, a version of yourself that you're gonna strive to be, but it will never happen because you don't look like this person. You want to keep your inspo in the same reality that you live in. The same goes for body. You don't wanna pull inspo for your body if you're a pear-shaped woman from a woman who is petite or has an hourglass figure. For example, I'm a petite woman, so I would pull inspo pics from another petite woman who is just the elevated version of what I aspire to be, someone who is already toned, the goal that I am wishing to work towards. You can pull inspo from anyone as long as they are aligned with the version of you that you want to be, but also what you are already working with. Like I said, you should not be pulling inspo from somebody who does not look anything like you because this is not attainable. You are not going to get to be that person. Another example for myself, Kylie Jenner is white and I am brown, but we do have very similar features. So I might pull her for elevating my makeup game. Maybe I wanna take my makeup for the summer in a more natural, soft, glam way. And if I like her makeup, I could go to her for inspo because she has the same features as me. She has big eyes, I have big eyes. So I might go to her for inspo on how to do my eyes. Now an example that's not me, let's just say you're 5'2", you're ginger and you're pale. You could pull inspo from Madeline Petch. Maybe she doesn't have the same height or body type as you, but you can still pull inspo from her because she has the same hair color as you and the same skin tone as you. You could use her as inspo for elevating your makeup game. Maybe your face shape isn't similar to Madeline Petch, so you could then find somebody who has a similar face shape. So let's just hypothetically say your face shape is like Rihanna and she has a bigger forehead, but she still looks really amazing with that bigger forehead. Like she looks really beautiful. You could take her as inspo and see how she does her makeup for her face shape. So you could take inspo for Madeline Petch and how she colors herself and styles herself based on orange hair and pale skin. And then Rihanna as someone who you could look to to see how she is contouring her face shape because it's similar to your face shape. I hope you get my point, but you're basically just looking for women as inspo who are already the elite leveled up version of what you already kind of have and are already kind of working with. You just want to take it to the next level. Now I do want to quickly disclaim that when you're looking for inspo, you don't want to go completely out of your realm because what could start happening, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but it could start happening, especially if you're still working through your confidence and really finding love within your own beauty. It's important that you train your mind to view women who look like like you as beautiful and not pedalize and idolize women who 
look nothing like you. Because if you then go in the mirror and are comparing yourself to Jennifer Aniston, but you look like Kelly Rowland, it's not going to help you because the gap is so huge. The frame of mind you need to be in to really become your own beauty standard is not gonna be there because you are comparing yourself to somebody who you will never look like. It's inconceivable for you to look like that person. It's inconceivable for a Kelly Rowland to look like a Jennifer Aniston. Me being me is inconceivable for me to look like Jennifer Aniston. So as I said, you can pull from different people. They don't have to be the same race as you, yada, yada, yada for similar features. Now that you have inspo for what you're aiming for, the highest version of yourself, like what you want her to look like, it's time for the second section where we're gonna actually build the plan. This means identify everything you want to take to the next level and glow up. Hair, skin, body, teeth, everything and anything you wanna glow up, write it down, figure out what you want to glow up specifically. Now we're going to add features that are gonna take you to that model tier. These are all things based on your specific needs. That's why it's important to write down what kind of glow up you're going for. Is it just a hair glow up? Is it just a skin glow up? Is it a full blown transformation entire glow up? Get clear on what it is you're trying to glow up. So then you know what features to add to your plan. So I'm gonna give you a list of features that you can choose and pick from and add them to your plan to build out your specific that glow up and I've categorized them. Round of applause for Vikita. So you have subjective enhancements and you have objective enhancements. The subjective enhancements include things that will elevate your unique beauty. I have a list here. You have your face shape, your teeth, your eyebrows, your makeup, your hair color, your hairstyle, and your color palette. All of those things are subjective to you. All of those things differ from person to person and will be different for every woman and take her beauty to the next level. So these are all subjective and they are all based on you and your needs. Again, if you're doing a full-blown transformation, we're gonna write all of this down, okay? Then we have the objective enhancements. Now these are all things that are just universally beneficial for you to glow up and are just universally attractive. Every person that has these things on 10 and glows them up, is gonna be just taken to the next level. So that includes a gua sha routine, teeth whitening, skin, hair glossing, and body. Now I might've missed something, so comment down below anything that I've missed so that everybody can you know, learn from each other and glow up together, because this is a team effort here. So those are all the different features you can choose from to add to your specific glow up plan. To get an idea of how to put all of this together, I'm gonna to share my glow up plan, because you know I'm getting snatched for the summer too. For my objective enhancements, I am working on my hair, okay? I'm working on the length of it, the texture of it, the everything that has to do with hair, I'm working on it. So hair gloss, hair color, hair style. I'm gonna take my color palette to my hairdresser and tell her that you need to snatch my hair for my color season. I'm working on my skin, so I'm doing microneedling, I am doing chemical peels, I am being extremely consistent with my skincare routine and just locking in on specific things that I know are going to transform my skin and I'm not shifting from that routine, okay? And the third thing I'm doing for my glove is working on my body. I need to get toned. There are no questions asked about that. So that is what is in my glow up and those are the features of my plan. So for you, a subjective enhancement could include maybe you wanna work on growing your eyebrows, you wanna work on your skin, you wanna work on your smile, you wanna teeth whiten, you know, you wanna enhance the lip area, like whatever you need to do for your glow up, write it down and those are the features of your plan. And that is what you are going to be doing consistently for the next three months. And that takes me to section number three, which is ensuring you are going to stay consistent with this plan so that when summer rolls around, you know you've completely glowed up instead of being like, oh, well, I started the plan and then I kind of did it and summer's kind of here and now I gotta go on a bikini, but I still don't feel comfortable or I still don't feel comfortable with no makeup on, no excuses. This third step is going to change the game for you, okay? And this is what you're gonna do. You are going to create two versions of the same routine. You have the first version, which is the all. This is like, I'm doing everything and I'm doing it at a 10. Like I'm just really killing it with the routine. The second version is the bare minimum version, which is I am so lazy right now and I would rather poke myself in the eyes than go take off my makeup, than go for a workout. The truth of the matter is, Everyone on their glow up, on their level up, whether it's in business, it's in appearance, it's in mindset, we get burnt out. 
And what I have found to combat this burnout and not just completely ditch the entire thing altogether and then in two months feel like I'm ready to restart and then it's constantly this thing of starting, restarting, starting, restarting. We're not doing that. We are doing an actual glow up that is sustainable, that is going to last and actually transform your body, your life, your skin, your hair, everything. And that is where these two versions of the same routine come into play. So I will give you an example. I... I'm a great human being at the start of the month. I'm motivated, I'm disciplined, I'm excited, I'm happy, I'm ready, I'm all the things. And then the last two weeks of the month start to arrive. And if you know what I'm talking about, you know. Mother nature calls. And when I hear that phone ring, I turn into a different person. The person I was at the beginning of the month is not the person that is going to end the month. So I need to have a routine in place that ensures I am not going to just rest on the couch for two weeks at a time. Now this all comes down to, again, your level of consistency, your lifestyle. You don't want to get this great big routine in place and this great big glow up plan, do it for a week and then fall off and just completely throw the towel in and be like, I'm over this, I can't do it because I just don't have time, I'm lazy, I just, I'm not feeling it. You wanna have this second routine in the back of your pocket so you can whip it out and be like, Fine, you don't have to do it completely and utterly to its max, but just do this bare minimum routine so that you can still achieve the goals you wanna achieve. And it might just take you a little longer to see the results, but you're still being consistent. So consistency compounds. And two, you don't dread doing it. Because I'm the first person to say, when you do not want to do something, you try every single thing to get out of it. But if you can just already set yourself up for success by knowing you have a lesser version of the same routine, you are going to not feel the dread that you might feel if you didn't have that routine. It's just not as intense. Honestly, applying this two versions of the same routine method has completely transformed every area of my life, whether it comes to work, friendships, relationships, health, morning routines, nighttime routines, like everything has been transformed. This is actually the cheat code to staying consistent and not burning out because a huge cause of burnout is when we're giving it our all. We're trying to do everything. We're doing all the glow ups. We're doing all the mental work. So we do every single thing amazingly for two weeks and then we're crashing and we're like, I'm over this. I don't want to do it. And we relapse. This has been the cheat code to not relapsing. You don't want to burn out. You want to consistently do the good things so that they become part of your muscle memory, but you're also accounting for natural human responses to doing good things. Sometimes we just don't want to do anything good for ourselves. We don't want to do good habits. We don't want to eat good. And you need to allow yourself the room to be that version of yourself when the time arises, because it will. And that's why I love the second version of the same routine, because it's there when I need it. But all the rest of the days, I'm doing everything at a 10 and I'm loving it. There would be no glow up plan without addressing the mental phase. So that is the second part of this two step approach. Now this mental phase is where it can get a little bit prickly and hairy. You have to speak to yourself from this moment forward only with love in the most loving way ever because I think a lot of people have this misunderstood when you are harsh and you're shaming yourself and you're trying to glow up and level up from a place of guilt and shame and just annoyance with yourself it will not happen and it will not last it's not sustainable everything you do has to come from a loving place with yourself you want loving change you don't want shameful change you want to know that you love and accept this version of yourself but you want it to be better. And you come only with sweet nothings in your ear, okay? You speak to yourself as if you have those abs already. You speak to yourself as if you have that skin already. You have to be doing every single thing from this moment on in the point of view of your highest version. You think like her, you speak like her, you act like her, you talk like her, you move like her, you cook like her. You are her from this moment on. You are speaking to your skin as if it is glowing, it's radiant, and it is so clear. Even though it might be filled with a bunch of pimples, hyperpigmentation, acne scarring, I don't care. 
care. That version of yourself no longer exists. The only version of yourself that exists is the version of you that is a model tier glowed up elite version of yourself, your highest version. So a pro tip is every time you work out, every time you do your skincare routine, every time you do your hair care routine or your shower routine, you are affirming for the vision. I have clear skin. My body is toned. My skin is glowing. My hair is glowing. My hair is so soft. My hair is so long. When you can train your mind to perceive yourself as the version you already want to be and look like, it will come so much quicker, especially if it's coming from a place of love. Like I love my skin so much. Like, can I have more of it, please? I'm so grateful for it. Can I have more? I love my body so much, even though it might be jiggling in all the wrong places. Like I love that body and I love you. Thank you for taking care of me. Thank you for allowing me to walk every single day. Thank you for allowing me to do the things that I want to do. I'm so grateful I get to have movement in my life. Thank you, body. When you can affirm yourself in that way and still work towards these goals and that higher version of yourself and that glowed up version of yourself, you will see such a transformation because the mind affects how the body looks. If we keep complaining about weight and we keep complaining about being flubby and this and we're not toned and we don't have great skin, it just keeps perpetuating that version of yourself and we are not having that anymore. And I can guarantee if you follow this entire plan to a T, it is going to come so naturally for you to do these habits every single day, therefore achieving the version of you that you wanna look like because you're being consistent, because you're having the thoughts that are helping the body take action consistently. And if you're ready to take your level up to the next level, start here.